got all these thoughts going on in my brain. It's kind of making me go insane because it's becoming such a pain. Because I'm going out of my mind over this, flipping the fuck out over this. I'm not going to find line because of this. Now you've got everything to do with it. But you won't ever know it now, will you, darling? Because I'll purposefully keep it from you and I'll try all I can to erase it from my memory. But as much as I wish, I wouldn't be able to. Because it's driving the agony which chases my sanity far, far away. But I suppose I won't need it. I'll just make a mental reminder not to use that portion of my brain. It's locked away amongst all these other things. Like thinking how great it'd be to spoil you. Aside from your surprising personality. Surprisingly, because we don't clash mentally. Which is a mystery to me, but who am I to question it? I'll never fucking order you away. Temptress, now your beauty is comparable to an heiress or an empress. But this is utterly useless. And now I'm just being senseless. I'll try all I can to fucking forget this. Even though I have no witness, I can't afford to be witless. So please think of me whenever you sing kisses. Because the time of wasting now is countless. Now then, I was told falling in love would be easy, cause I would like somebody and then they would like me and we'd go on dates and fall in love, get married, love each other, have kids, grow old until our last day. 20 years into my life and I haven't experienced a fucking thing. Love wants nothing to do with me. It's not that I haven't liked anybody or that anybody hasn't liked me, it's just never been mutual, so I wish I could keep my heart in neutral. I keep breaking myself, I keep falling head over heels for someone else even though I know it'll never work because that's the whole tradition thing that just wouldn't work because I don't want kids and just to say that I won't end up with her but traditions can just go to hell, they're made to bring us together but they mostly break us apart that's the last thing I need with this hole in my fucking heart maybe you can help me make it whole, all the better to love you with, get along with, all the better all the way around you just don't know who the hell you're messing with do you even know if you caught me? because this isn't anything dealt with easily Stop asking what the fuck is wrong with me. I know you're single and available, and I know there's a small chance that you would date me, so why can't I just own up to it all? Why can't I suck it up and ask you out? Why can't I get it around my head and flirt? Why can't I do so many things for you, with you, around you? See, at the end of the day, I'm a fucking asshole, and I'll own up to that. But I make up for it in some ways. I'm a giant dork, goofball, weird, oddball, and I'm sarcastic most of the time. That just doesn't seem to impress you, though. You didn't even start talking to me until I calmed down. So how do I show you that's who I am now, without completely changing? Because I don't want it to seem like I've changed for you, even though I am on a certain level. I don't want to make things awkward between us, even though I am by nature. At the end of the day, we are co-workers, and I'd rather stay in this awkward state that we're at than risk making a fool of myself, risk breaking my heart by myself, risk facing rejection all by my fucking self. too much to fucking take. I created this very situation that I hate because I built things up in my own head and it happens again and again. I don't know why I do this. I just wish I could get over this. I wish I could go back to not caring, not crushing, not being nothing, go back to not seeing. There's nothing else to say. I just can't believe I feel like this. Goodbye my lonely days, and I just want to stay here for forever and a day, so please say that you'll never fucking leave me, because I can do so much for you. I could go through a list, but that would just bore you, and I don't want to lose you. You know that you can say goodbye to your lonely days, because I'm finally here to save you. I'll be your superman because I know that's what you want, and yeah, I'll be your knight in shining armor. Please just give me the one chance because I can protect you from the dangers of this world. I'll fly so high that we rest in the clouds, I'll take a speeding bullet for you, and you know that because I have strong arms that'll hold you late at night. I can see through the disguise, my dear, just look right into my eyes. Just hold on, my dear, because I'm coming to the rescue for you faster than the speed of light because I'm all yours and I've got no kryptonite. those other guys who want to be with you. I know that sounds possessive and that's really not that cool, but I know that everybody wants to be with you, but I can guarantee they won't have what I can offer you. See, can they lift up anything? Can they see through steel walls? Can they fly you through the night sky? Can they shoot laser beams out of their eyes? Alright, well those were all lies. Because I can't bring buildings crashing down, because I can't see through your heart. Since I can't fly you across the world, and I can't superheat things with a glance, but I really will do all that and more if it'll make you happy, my dear, just give me the fucking chance. Say goodbye to the old you, the lonely you. Welcome to having everything you want and everything you could have. Please don't use me and throw me away. I know I couldn't stand it because all of these days I've only ever wanted to be your Superman because I know that's what you wanted. I've only ever wanted to be your knight in shining armor, so wouldn't you give me the chance?
see, this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna smile and you're gonna smile back. So sit down, kick back, just try your best to relax. Cause I was never fucking perfect in making a good first impression. But I'm the song that kind of gets stuck in your head. At first I was half decent, barely worth a listen. And then it just got plain annoying, but you had to listen until now. Finally, you love it and you want it. Unfortunately for me, in the scenario of that song, it gets replaced with another before that's able to happen. I'm just hoping you won't do that to me too. Say I'm something that could last, maybe even forever. And yes, I realize we're moving just a little too fast. I just want there to be no surprises between us. a new day so I'll try my best to relax I swear because I don't want for you to take that step back but eventually I'll end up moving just a little too fast even though my heart permanently lives within the cast. I made it all myself my broken heart the mending brace I'm a terror to myself and the worst part is that I know it I just can't let you know it. I can't allow myself to show it paint that picture perfect moment and I'll show you where you fit in too make the final offer before I throw this towel in Smile at me and I'll smile back. Wink at me and I wink back. I fall for you, but you'll take a step back. I say I love you, now you take a step back. I smile, but you're not back. I wink, you're not coming back. I fall for you, but you don't have my fucking back. I say I love you and you'll never say it back. These facts are almost too hard for me to face. Almost. So I give in and I won't let you in so easily, but my heart's screaming inside of its cage. This isn't what I do, but for you, maybe. I don't like I'm acting like I did this before or something. You smile at me, so I'll smile back. I wink at you, I wink back. I fall for you, I take a step back. I say I love you, wait. Did I actually do that? I'll smile at you, now you smile back. I wink at you and you wink back. I fall for you, I gotta take a step back. I think I love you, now we both take a step back. You smile at me, but I'll turn my back. You wink at me, I gotta take a look back. You fall for me and I stop in my tracks. You said you could love me. Did we both say it back? Baby, look, I know that you're hurting right now. Believe me, I'm sorry you had to go through that pain. I know that you were terrified. You said you were scared, but I promise to take such great cautious care. I'm different. I swear to be nothing like the past, man. I know that sounds cliche, and I know it sounds empty and fake, but sometimes we doubt because it's too good to be true. Baby, I wish somebody would have fucking told you that love and life aren't everything they're talked up to be. There's always going to be pain, but hidden away there's beauty. At least that's what they all say. I guess that's how I found you in the first place. I was digging through my own bags, and I stumbled across yours. I'm doing everything I can, and believe me, it fucking hurts. make you cry until the makeup washes off of your face. Instead, I'll wipe away your tears and it'll smear, maybe even leave a stain. I'll do everything I can to make sure you won't complain. I promise to be a perfect type of catastrophe and you'll become my perfect hypocrisy. Just stay a while, wait around, maybe you'll even be able to see. But for right now, just take some deep breaths. Gaze fondly onto the common sea as the waves roll and lapping on the shore and pauses of your all the fucking love songs in this world are written for. But now you're getting more comfortable around me, and now I'm finding out things that I never wanted to hear. I'm wishing that they just went from one ear to the other, never pausing long enough for this anxiety to take root, never pausing for me long enough to think things through. It was supposed to be simple, it was supposed to just be me and then you, and then we decided what the hell we wanted to do. I kind of feel like I was gypped and I got a little lost too, but we had different points of view on that too. You thought it was one thing and, I, and it didn't align with my point of view, I thought it was something else, and now I'm finding myself getting jealous. I just didn't want it to be like this. understand why I've been keeping all of this fucking pent up because this shit has me all kinds of fucking messed up. You're saying that you don't want love. You're scared of liking me and being in a relationship but to feel the love you have to deal with the hurt and I know it sucks but this is something that we've got to go through. Everybody. It'd be a pleasure to have my heart broken by you though and it'd be my fault too I suppose but in the meantime I'm doing everything I can to keep you and your heart safe. I'll do everything I can to keep you intact. Promise that I'll keep you safe to the best of my abilities. Just promise you feel close to the same way. Something's telling me that I'm losing it, and now I gotta ask myself if I ever really had it. But something's telling me that I'm losing you too, and now I gotta ask if I ever actually had you. But 
I don't want to know the answers. They're too scary. I'm terrified. My heart's kind of gotten fossilized. It stopped beating and I'm turning cold, so I'll stay tethered to my denial. You do like me, which means you could love me, right? I'm moving too quickly. I'm moving too far ahead. I'm sorry, but the truth doesn't have to be ugly and dramatic. But you did something to me, and now I feel like I'm changing into the old me. It's getting harder and harder to remember my true fucking personality. Before this, I feel like I was fun and outgoing, but then this depression and anxiety got a hold of me, and I just want to be left alone with my devices, so please, please just stop showing me all of your fucking reactions, because they're just adding to all of my internal frictions, and I feel like my memories are something that I should mention. It was bad in the beginning, the fear controls me, but the memories have kind of become foggy. I don't know if this was all intentional, but I wish I could give in and forget all about my past. This is my subconscious subtly wishing that it would end all this nonsense. Maybe you could stick by me while I figure things out. I don't know why, but it's easier to sort out with you near me, because my emotions simply don't rain as much. I don't know why, but I'm happy and I want to smile with you. At you, fuck, babe. What the hell did you fucking do? worked together now for a minute or two, but recently it's been a lot more closer to you, and recently it's been a lot more flirty to you too, now I'm developing these butterflies and I'm thinking about breaking the rules like we're still in school, acting like some fools, I'll take you out after work, we can keep it hush hush, gotta keep up the ruse except to a few, maybe you'd let me show you, I'll take you out and we can find something good and true, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but I gotta be brave enough to ask you out first, right? We gotta find the right time not to raise any suspicion, maybe this isn't a good idea, but goddamn, I really do like you. I couldn't help myself. I had to ask you to breakfast after work, but then shit came up again and again. It just took a hot minute. I was late to my other job, but that shit was so worth it. I messed up our first kiss. I told you that I'd never done a thing. You felt awkward, but that second date, I more than made up for it. I laughed while we kissed, but you just didn't notice it. Maybe that's okay, I guess. Like I was on cloud nine. This is the highlight of my fucking life. Right, now just before my birthday we made it official just you and I. I don't want to think about that first month. You were dating others and I thought it was just us. Guess I learned for the future. Got this inkling that I might love you but I think it's too soon you hear this. It's the sound of my heart skipping beats. That's what happens whenever you get closer to me. Now listen to it speed up. what happens whenever you kiss me i'm smiling all cheeky saying everything that they do in the movies if i didn't mean to be like that i couldn't help it i was falling head over heels falling for you falling for us but i was anxious but i like it for once the butterflies are just doing some flips in my stomach remind me of somebody actually wanted me but for the first time since i could remember it i wanted it for the first time it wasn't fake at least it didn't seem to be Help me, can't you see? You talked me through the anxiety, stayed when I felt broken, the depression just made me feel hopeless. I stayed for you too when I knew I shouldn't have, maybe we could hold each other together, both of us broken, weren't ready for this relationship, but I still felt infatuated. Then you said you needed some space, I feel like I forced you into this, you said you wanted to be exclusive, but it's getting too real, one of us is bound to run, I won't be me cause I'm too far gone, I'm hoping I'm not over texting, maybe I should find someone else to bother, but you're the one I want, no other. overlooked the red flags. Maybe there was a few, but maybe I'm not being completely honest with you. And then the breakup came and it hurt too badly, but I see you both dropped and it's my fault entirely. I didn't think I could work with you for a little bit, but I kept it up. A smile and a flirt and no one knew anything was up. You helped me find my first therapist. We felt like a couple still holding each other in bed every so often, going out to eat, holding hands, butterflies doing their flips. I still wanted to kiss those lips. You said, let's stop hanging out, let's not be friends. Funny that pushed me off the deep end, but I needed it. Now I'm just ashamed because then I tried to kill myself. I called you, texted you, but your phone was on silent and you were asleep and I knew it too, but I just didn't care. Now I go around telling everyone that I'm the asshole and you couldn't look at me and I know it's true and I'm sorry that I fucking did this to you. Now we have to find a new normal and that's something that's just not easy to do. My depression it makes me make a wrong impression. And impressions are hard to do. I'm compensating maybe a little too much. I'm so sorry. Cause I'm not proud of the next part of this story. But I hope I get better and I hope you get better too. And I hope that maybe we can forgive each other. I'm sorry for the things I did. I broke a promise I wish I didn't. But like I said in the beginning, I'm an asshole. There's no way around it.
here's the funny thing. I don't care about all of the lights. I don't care for my name in the stars. I just care if we get this right, because I just want the keys to your heart locked away so deep. I don't care what they all say. I don't care about your rickety past. I just care that you're all right. I really just want you to be able to experience love tonight. So could you please tell me how this ends? Because I know I'm never more than enough, but this is all that I ever want. No matter where we go or where we end up, no matter what we do, we always come back around, and then there's me, and then there's you, and we end up acting just like fools. But I won't be enough, so you'll end up leaving me, and I'll watch you walk out that door. I don't understand. I swore I did it right this time. Can we just make a mess of this town again, riding around, acting like fools once again? Look, I really hope that you end up with me. That you and I become us, we. But I'm not okay with this current trend. I'm not okay with sad songs being my only fucking end. I'm not okay with so much that's going on, but what I'm not okay with the most is the way that he treated you. You tell me that this isn't love, but then you tell me that you don't care, so I'll tell you that it's not fair. To you, to him, to me, anybody. But I know you can do so much better than him, and you know you can do so much better than me. You're so much better than all of them. I'm not sure who exactly broke your heart, but tell me how so I don't repeat their mistakes. Because see, I know you want him, but I also know you don't need him. They hurt you so badly. Please promise me you won't go back again. I can't believe you always go back to him. You're wasting all your time. You say that you don't know what's going on wrong inside your head. Your heart is singing along to every sad song there is, so I asked you why. You said you just couldn't help it, so I tried my best to relate, but I just can't wait for you to be with me. But I feel like every day will play out the exact same. You complain about how you're hurting, but you haven't been paying any attention because you're blinded by all my intentions and you're missing all my caring actions. I've been looking for some kind of fucking reaction, but you're too distracted. I'll tell you that you've got a bad case of tunnel vision. You've got no idea how badly that hurts, but I'll keep on trying. You ask me why all this is happening, so I tell you, baby, you're fucking worth it. And you deserve someone so much better than him. And I keep the secret to myself that I'm not any better. I know it's how I have a small chance of petty and selfish, I get it. But I know full well that we should just stay friends. And I know full well you shouldn't be with either of us. You tell me that it's better this way. But I can't accept that as the truth, especially after all that we've fucking been through. I say that I'm not liking this fucking trend. You know I could help you lose control. You know you'd be my only one. You shake your head and have the audacity to say let's just stay friends. I know I said it first. But I also know that it's just so you can go fucking around with him and justify it. I can't help but stutter. Even after every place we've been, every single time that I've held your hand, every single tear that's slid down your cheeks from them breaking your heart. Loud and clear, nice and concise, now I'll look you in your eyes. Whenever you change your mind, you know where to go. You just gotta learn somehow, you gotta tell him no. I know your heart's so confused, but I gotta say, baby, I feel like you're being used. You whisper almost like you're ashamed that this is an emotional abuse. Fuck, I don't know how to deal with you. You're so confusing. That's the exact moment you stand up from the table and walk away from me. You've always been a goddamn mystery. You never show up when you say you will, and you're acting like this world revolves around you, and unfortunately I know that it's true, at least for me in my world. But in the meantime, while you clear your head, I guess I'll just sit here like a ghost, because I know better than to run after you. But it just doesn't feel right. I don't know what the hell to do. And normally in this situation, I would just come and ask you. Now I'm just being hurtful. I'm sorry. But could we possibly rewrite a new ending to this story? I guess there's a hint of beauty in being alone. It's easier to deny my own existence when I'm solo, just to find another excuse for feeling hollow. And another reason to the list that I feel so low. I'm all by myself, but I planned it this way. I alienated everybody who could have cared. And I did it all with a fake smile plastered to my fucking face. When the hell did all this take place? So I put my head under water, but as it turns out, my demons could survive there too. In fact, they could thrive anywhere. Now instead of just drowning on the surface, I'm drowning and I did it on purpose. I'm doing this to myself, but I can't stop it. I wish I could be happy like one of those fake cake toppers. Sure, I can pretend it's all well and fine, but I'm tired of the mask. What if for once I just wanted to be myself? I heard they said that there's beauty in pain or that you can find beauty in the pain or within pain there's beauty no matter which way it is or what it holds its meaning. Why the fuck is there always beauty inside of everything? Why do I only get to experience the pain associated with it? Cause I'm fucking tired of this bullshit. I just want to be honest with myself for one goddamn minute. You know what hurts the most though? The biggest tragedy within my pathetic drawn out life is whenever I met you I thought it'd be different somehow because you were so easy to talk to and half the time we only ever chilled anyways. Looks far out of my league and your personality was exactly my type. You had your flaws just like everybody but I looked past them too easily. Just another reason you were able to hurt me so quickly. The worst part is whenever you meet someone beautiful you don't know if they'll be worth the pain because remember beauty and pain are associated together with everything. So you set yourself up for the heartbreak. I was praying you wouldn't leave me alone and to deal with the heartache. But here I am, feeling low again and you're smiling. Just out of reach as always. I still can't decide if it's all worth it. You're so amazing and I'm such a nothing. I'm 
I'm not free, and I probably won't ever will be from you or this depression, but I hope I can make a half-decent impression. Don't forget me as I crawl back into the darkness, I'm stressing out and triggering my own anxiety. I'm waiting on the rainy days that I pray for, it's easy to hide under my bed under the covers like a small child hiding from the monsters. I left behind the bed frame so they couldn't hide underneath as I sleep. Now it seems that they're the things that hold me safe. They comfort me as I let the tears slip off my chin onto my sheets. Wasn't life supposed to be easier than this? If I believed in God, if I went to school, if I did everything just fucking right. I thought I had my life. But it isn't anywhere near right. I'm left alone every fucking night, but it's okay. I'm not a sob story charity case. I can hold my own in this fucking world. I'll fake a smile when I leave my apartment when I must. But you'll never know it if you met me on the streets. I'm silently like begging for these demons to finally fucking let me be. the city today and I drove 1100 miles away. I'm looking out at the scenery and it takes my breath away in the same way that you did so believe me whenever I say that you shouldn't be able to creep into my mind but without fail every single fucking time that I try to waste away your eyes just shouldn't contain my brighter days. It's with my deepest sincerity that I'm begging you please please leave my thoughts alone whenever I'm alone. Please don't enter my brain when I lay to bed to rest. Get the fuck out of my thoughts once and for all get out of my head because you don't have the decency to care about me and how I'm doing. It's obvious I can feel it in the hair so just forgive me for my blank stare. I was just kind of wishing that you do one of two things for me either come back into my life like i want let's be together again like it was or finally leave me alone so i can move past you to somebody new or keep to myself just like before because if this is love and how it goes and i think i'm toast now i'm just kind of wishing i was a ghost Like for your first, that's how it is for me. You wanted to marry him and he was your soulmate. Well, guess what? I want you or I don't want anybody. I just can't see myself moving past this, honestly. I know that you would call me hopeless. You said that I shouldn't even love you. It's a waste of time, energy. You said I shouldn't even want you or that someone out there was more deserving. But I don't care, because I don't see the point in it all. Your argument was absolutely valid. It's just that I don't care. You aren't the type to stay forever, and that's okay, I guess. Because I couldn't bear the pain of losing you twice. It's just that whenever I'm with you, everything seems to be okay. I'm comfortable, and it feels safe, and it doesn't ever happen for me. So I was excited, and now it's just been ripped away. How the fuck can I tell myself that I'm over you? How can I tell others that I'm through with you? Whenever you still cloud my brain, when you're still the person who consumes my thoughts, happiness, wistfulness, pain, ache, whatever you want to call it, I say that I love you, I say that I still want to fall for you, I still want to be with you, so won't you let me just try again? Because I care more about you than anything, I care about you even more than myself, I just want to see you happy at the end of the day, but selfishly I wish that it was with me, you made me feel differently, I can't really explain it, it's hard and it's complicated, I don't know, I guess, maybe I could, but... Look, this is hard to admit, so I'd rather play the part of love-struck idiot. I'm asking other people how you are, because almost every aspect of my life you were fucking into it, because I made sure of it. Now I just want to run away and hide from you, but that's impossible to do. At any rate, there's another option, but it's painfully apparent that that won't ever be normal. I won't ever get over these feelings, and I'm just an awkward human being, so I guess I can't go back to being friends with you, can I? I'm sorry I did that to you, so I'll just stick to self-harming for now. That's still not great, but it's better than suicide, I guess. I don't know why I'm telling you this, I'm sorry. I hurt you once already. I don't want to do it again, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All I can ask is why. This paint was spread on me so unevenly. See, just look at me closely, it's dripping, almost as if my inner all the while I'm weeping, knowing it'll be chipped away, I'm like a doormat walked all over and used until I served my particular purpose and cast aside made out to be less than worthless. And now the paint's fading away. I'm slowly being chipped away in places what once held beautiful, vibrant colors is gold, with some pieces of my soul now exposed. Of course that no one wants to see, where was the hope that I could hold? I don't recall my mind and my body being sold, so I'm trying to find the warmth but getting greedy with the cold. This chill bitter air is too harsh for my paper thin skin. Maybe that's the reason I'm fading again over paint. Another coat to cover up my problems again, even more and even than the last. So now my personal now this seems even more fake and skewed, at least that's my particular point of view. Would you mind if maybe I painted you too? It was way too easy for me to get lost in you. Cause for a moment I didn't care that I was uneven and broken. Cause you were too and it seemed like I was perfect for you. At least that's my particular point of view. So let me paint this image for you. I'll try to get the details just right. But I think I've proven I'm not too skilled a painter. Just look at the drip around me on the pavement. 
Your eyes with this nice light shade of hazel. Looking at them, I got a little frazzled, cause one thing's for sure they fucking dazzle. Your hair was naturally curly. At least I think. That's the way I liked it at any rate, but on occasion you straightened it. Either way, you were still perfect. Always a touch of makeup said I would never see you without it. The thing is, I still think you were drop dead gorgeous. You had some tattoos on you too. Lord of mercy on my soul, my weakness has just been exposed. On your finger, the one you did yourself. Then you added another while we were together. On your side, proving you're a Harry Potter fan. Flowers up and down your leg and even your foot with that quote from Snape. I still remember that sparking our debate. That tattoo on the inside of your lip, I took as instructions, it just seemed to fit. Jeans and a t-shirt accompanied typically by a hoodie, at least outside of your work and uniform. Even in that, you found made me feel warm. Your favorite shoes were the Vans. Honestly, I didn't like them all too much, but I knew everything looked really pretty. Your smile wasn't the typical definition of perfect, but every smile is still fucking seemed worth it. I wanted to love you, but I was never given the chance. Now I just sit here and idolize the past. I let my paint get worn out way too quickly, and I thought I was doing a decent job of chipping away yours too, but now I see it wasn't even the protective cover that I got removed. I stared blankly at my brush with a fresh coat. I was doing it so often now it fucking hurt. I wish I could change my mind and tell myself that this isn't what I deserve. This is what you tell me, I know it. So I'll crawl back into my hole and try to turn into a ghost, turn myself invisible so no one can see me. I'm done with human interactions, don't you see? You still want to be friends. Where does that mean? Don't you know how hard that is for me? Is it hard for you too? It's like that one 1975 song. Cause I don't want to be your friend. I just want to kiss your neck. You're a chapter in my book and I wish it could have been longer. I'm sorry. Regardless of your reasons, I feel like I'm the cause. At the root of destruction, there's always me in every aspect of my fucking life. First brush. But the parts you touch, it seemed immune. Second brush. More forceful, but you still push through. With tears in my eyes, I create another coat. The parts of you still shown though. Now I'm even more unsatisfying and uneven. I wish you would just come back to me, because you're the only person I thought could ever love me. But if it was too hard for you and you're broken too, maybe I just don't deserve my happy ending. Either way, I won't be able to be on the side that's winning. Perpetually searching and failing. It's my destiny with you in the back of my mind. Dreaming about your lips, kind of like a trap door. Husk, I said it perfect. Saddest dream, and it's stuck in my head in repeat. I hung up on your ex anyways, but I thought I could break through. Because I was wrong, so now what do I do? Stay out late and I'd walk you home. Tried my best to be the perfect date because you'd had plenty before me. I knew it at all, but I'm trying so hard. Smile wide to hold in your hand. I'm always prepared to be left alone in the stand as you went off with another fan. A simple kiss on my cheek. Gotta admit it was slow coming. A build up, tensions rising. Gorgeous woman, but worth everything. I fucked up our first kiss and I regretted this. You thought it was adorable, I'm just a goofball. Maybe it'd all work out in my favor. Your lips a new flavor. I don't know what I'm saying. Opinions. Didn't know what was happening. I was happy, but something wasn't budging. I had a nagging feeling. Maybe this is normal, just like all the buzzing. Bees in my stomach. Nervous. Tensions unsettling. I can't put my finger on it. My anxiety was the key, the main bow after me, making me wish I could fucking flee. But I've never felt this lucky, and I don't want to mess it up, even though I know I will, and that's just a fucking key. I knew I wouldn't be the one to walk away. I guess I just didn't want to have to acknowledge this fateful day. I didn't want to agree when you said we needed some space. I know I did some things that you didn't appreciate. I was just trying to be the best. Treat you better than before. I'll treat you better than you did me. Wait, I was mean. I apologize. I guess I'm just kind of reacting out of spite. Cause I couldn't call it hate. Cause I still want to be by your side. You called me, now I'll rush over. I'll hold you. Don't worry, I'll do this till we're gray and older. You think it isn't fair and I know it isn't. But you hold a special place in my heart. Funny, isn't it? All my nerves, this nervousness, hoping you'd still kiss me. I know it'd be years again in a heartbeat, but I'm with my boyfriend and he treats me very nicely. I gotta admit, it feels great to be a queen, but at times I feel like I'm a king. He calls me handsome and beautiful equally, and that's how I think it should be. Switching between the two, maybe one day I'll decide. My brain's just a little messed up. But that's too far off topic. Let's get back to the real issue. Checking in periodically. I still like you, but I respect you. Here's the distance you wished for. I'd gladly offer it to you. Anything had a chance to see you dance. That smile lights up the room. Anything for me to continue to be next to you. Just be aware of my innocence. I've grown more mature since our last instance, but I still refuse to see the dark in the sky. But I'll see the beauty in your eyes, hiding behind the manipulation. Maybe it's written in the constellations, but you hated that part of you. I supported every part of you. A perfect smile staring into your eyes. That's so beautiful, I can't believe you're mine. Maybe I'm the lucky one, and you're just unlucky because you gave up on me. But I don't want to think about what the could be. 
even though this is the only place my mind has gone, at least we had the few months that we did, the time we have now to just protect phone calls, face-to-face -face interactions, because I'm wishing for some kind of increased action, but I gotta behave myself and ignore all these feelings. I can't tell the one I'd love, I'd still like to be with you. This is a complicated bit of emotions, maybe it'll take you a little while to figure out. Maybe I don't want to think a second before I write things out. I'll hit you up later, see you later. I'm just waiting on a response a little while later. Came back into my life, again, left on red, again, thought I had this right, again, just friends cause I wanted something, again, sending memes back and forth, light flirting, sly smiles, butterflies coming back, again, this isn't good since I'm engaged to be married, but I don't want you to leave and wreck me. One night we went out, one drink, I disregarded respect. I hit on you a little too much and now you're gone, guess you weren't cool like you said. Sober enough to know what I did was wrong, I'll shoulder the guilt, guess I'll have to let you go. Just wish you'd come through, maybe let me apologize, you said it's okay, no need. Don't you know what I'm saying? Just like last time I'll shoulder this too, guilt of forever, I guess. So sorry I did that to you. I'll hold on to that guilt forever. The reason I quit drinking, well, now I'm lying. I can't really say that. I still drink, I just won't get drunk. I still wonder what would have happened. Part of me wonders the what ifs. If I hadn't called you that night, if not for him, if we tried once more, could we get this right this time around again? Maybe so, maybe not. Maybe since you're in a better place, so am I. At least I think, just let me know. Don't know what's up with me. I don't know what's up with you. This back and forth has gotten me kind of confused. I know this isn't what I'm supposed to do. I know that I'm still in love with you. Maybe I'm not. Maybe, probably, it's that same infatuation twisting my brain that's got me thinking. But I love him, but I still kind of want you. Or do I just want that rush of something new? Because I think the same of someone else, too. Look, maybe I'm not the best, but it's probably best that you left me. You'll avoid my mess. It hasn't gotten any better, but I swore I just wanted to be friends again. The more mature I get, the more I realize I need to fucking quit. We were both to blame because I was a dick. I was a flirt, true to my core. I got numbers and then I bragged to you. Had the audacity to blame the failure only on you. I called you a bitch and then I justified it. You saw the others in the beginning, but we hadn't discussed the dynamic of our relationship. Then I forced my romantic ideations onto you. Didn't give you space when you asked for it. Kept buying you flowers and shit. The truth is, I still love you, and I did back then, I just didn't know it yet. I called it an unhealthy infatuation like I was a kid. I got nervous and had butterflies only for you though, even today I guess. Maybe it'll never go away, but I hope that you don't. I'm still plagued with that what if. Cause what if it was different? What if I was a proper girlfriend for you? But what if you were different, in a better headspace than you were then? What if today was different? What if he and I hadn't gotten married? If we broke up, would you take me back? Does that make me a dick for thinking that? Look, I tell everyone I'm an asshole. They say that it isn't true, but only an asshole would have hurt you like I did. Say I cared and then pulled that shit. Said I love him, but then wonder about you. It's my biggest secret, my deepest fear. Look, I'm the asshole of the fucking year. Look, I'm sorry for the things that I did, and I'm sorry for all the things that I didn't do. Look, I finally examined the way that I fucking treated you, and I know it was past due, because nowadays I wonder if I'm going about this all wrong, because every time I see you, I still want to kiss you. And when we talk, I fuck it up, and I bring up our past history. It's time I stopped doing that, because it's time I thought of you as a friend, not the ex I still have feelings for. Just promise me that no matter what happens now, this thing that's going on between us, don't let it be the end.